Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a video to answer a question. A few of you had asked how I created my vision boards. Now I did actually create it in InDesign and that's what's here on the screen that you can see is the vision board that I printed out. So you'll see that I did create basically it's a bunch of squares and rectangles and it was just however big I wanted anything to be. I think I did look at somebody else's vision board and then went based off of that. Some of these are just plain text as you can see. Others of them are actually images that I pulled in and I'll actually show you how that works. So now that you've seen what it looks like, let's start with something blank. Now over here on the left, there is a rectangle frame tool, and this is what we're going to want to use. Now you can actually go back and adjust these after the fact. So it just really depends on how big you want everything to be. We'll create a couple of squares. And thankfully, what it will do is it will actually line things up for us. So once I've created the first two squares and have them however wide we want, I can then just go back and line them up. So let's say we want two that size, one a little bit longer, and just for kicks, let's make a really tall one. And then we'll line this up. So these are basically serving as placeholders. Now you can do it this way. Or you can also just use a regular box tool. So if you just want to draw boxes. So a couple of options. I think I actually used the boxes when I decided to do this. So let me adjust the size of this one really quick because what I'm going to bring in is actually a little bit longer. Okay, so let me show you what you do. From there, we'll come over here to the Finder window which is essentially the same as like a My Computer folder in Windows. Click and drag this over here. So we're going to put it there. Just for the sake of argument, we're going to put it here too. Now you'll notice that this is really zoomed in. You really can't see what it is right now. If you double click on it, however, you'll see now all of a sudden we have this red line. And if you'll scroll down, you can see this image is quite a bit bigger than the size of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here Hold down the shift key because that will keep everything proportional and click and drag this smaller. Now you're going to have to do this a couple of times because you're going to want it to get be somewhat centered. Hold down the shift key, click and drag. I'm sure there's a way, again, I think I've mentioned in previous videos, my InDesign experience is all trial and error. So there may be a faster way to resize this specifically, but and it probably has something to do with this width and height up here, because if you click and drag, you can see things getting smaller. But this gives me a little bit of control, because then I can resize things how I want. So that's actually what the image looks like. All right, so let's jump over here to this one. Same thing. If you double click. It should let you. There we go. You can also click on this little links link button there, and that will kind of give you the option to see everything. So again, we're looking for, let me close this panel here, the red outline, oops, so we can resize it. Put it back kind of in frame. You can also do it from the top. So pretty much the difference between these two is if you use the box tool as opposed to the frame tool, you'll have an actual border around it, which is why I said that I actually think that I use the box tool. So if we come back over here to the vision board, you'll see that everything has a border around it, and that was fine. So it's really up to you with what how you want things to look. So we have the frame version and we have the box version. So essentially you just keep doing that. Now, if you want text, you can actually just click on the text tool and type. So we'll type focus and goals. I'll come in here and let's put it in Miss Magnolia. 70, oops, 72 is too big. Let's try 30, there we go. And let's center it. 
And it looks like we need to shrink the distance between the texts. And I know there's a name for it and I can't remember what it's called, but that's okay. So the other thing we'll probably want to do, so what we're looking for under objects, we can go to text frame options and that gives us a chance to say, hey, we want it to align center vertically. Actually, we need to click, click on that first. Object, text frame options, top, center. So now what that does is it centers it inside the box. So that way, if you, I mean, you can align it to the top, you can align it to the bottom, but this way it, I wanted mine centered. So again, you can click and drag over an image from a different window. This is just a bunch of random things that I'd saved from the internet. Let's see, I think this is one. So food is medicine, I like that. So let's actually put that here. And again, we're gonna resize. And honestly, this might be a little small, so you can always come back in and adjust box sizes later. So if we just click and drag it over here, maybe we wanna actually make this go full across the page. If you're going to do that, then you're going to want to resize what's inside of it as well. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I think I might have accidentally not held down the shift key like I should have, but we can get it looking pretty close to probably what it looked like originally. So again, you can move things around however you want it to look. And you can either use the text frame or the rectangle tool. Either one of those will work. One will just give you a line around the edge and the other one generally does not. Though I imagine you can create a line if you want by clicking on the frame and setting your line width. So this is how you do it inside of InDesign. Again, it's a bunch of boxes. It's putting in whatever words you want it to say, adjusting your type, pulling in pictures. A lot of these pictures, I just searched on Google for healthy eating, healthy food, and then I searched inside of Google Images, and that just lets you flip through so you can pull in whatever it is that you're looking for that's part of either your vision, your focus, or your goal. Some of these, like the slow down, this, he simply wants us, the food is medicine image. These are ones that I had saved previously from the internet. So I just grabbed them. This was a stock image here with the thread. I don't remember about the books. I think I might've searched for that same thing with the camera. I think this one was also a stock image I had previously downloaded. So again, there's a variety of places where you can get these images from. Since for personal use, as long as you're not selling it, a lot of times you can just pull things off of Google images. All right. So let's work on Word really quick. So let's start with the blank document. Now what you're going to want to start out by doing is either adjusting the paper size or drawing a box that is the size of the paper that you're looking for. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the paper size at this point in time. So at Previously, I'd actually already created a personal size page. This is 3.7 by 6.7. Could also be 3.75 by 6.75. Let's zoom into 100% here. So in Word, it's not as easy to just draw a box and have it fill in. So in this instance, honestly, it's probably going to be easier to set it, everything up as a table. You won't have as much flexibility, but at least you can get everything lined up. So let's insert a table. Let's make it two by six. That'll give us a little bit of room to work with. I'm actually gonna draw, pull this out to the edge here. Grabbed the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, let's drag this out. Put this approximately in the middle. I forget how fiddly tables are in Word, okay. So let it, let's just drop some images in here. 
Now you'll want to go in obviously and not put a border on the table. All right, there we go. However, so you'll want to take the borders off when you're done and you're happy with what everything looks like. So let's jump back over. So again, this you probably won't have as much flexibility. You can still click and drag and make images smaller. You just won't be able to have different sized items unless you decide to split the table cells in half. But you can definitely type straight in to the table cells if you want to put text in. I think I messed everything up with the uh, page set up here. Microsoft Word, let's fix the margins. Oh goodness. Word does not get along with me. There we go. All right, now we're fixed. <laughs> Hopefully this is a little easier for you. I generally don't have this much trouble, but evidently today I am. So here we can change the font. Should have access to Miss Magnolia in here as well. There we go. Let's make it a little bigger, 26. And again, we can move things around because I think I had two pounds per month. Eight hours per night. And a lot of this is just clicking and dragging. So if you want the box to be a little bit bigger, you can do that. If you go to table, cell, you can align it vertically in the center. So again, not as much flexibility, but in a pinch, this actually works. And then when you're finished, you can come in, go to table design, borders, no border, and then you are left with it floating. So it looks a little closer to what you had before using InDesign. So if you want, you can actually create text boxes. That's another way to do this. And then you can come in here and adjust. Let's see. Oops. Let me try something here. So you can actually insert images into a text box. So that's actually probably the better way to go if you're used to working with text boxes. And if you make it smaller, it will crop. So just make sure that either you adjust the size of the object inside or keep the text box big enough that it doesn't get in the way. And if you hover kind of towards the edge, you can reselect that, reselect that text box again. Now under shape formatting, if you did want to add a border around it, you can go ahead and do that. We'll put it in black. So that way you can see there's a text box around it if you want it that to be what your vision board looks like. So there's a couple of different ways for you. We have Word, which you can either do as a table or you can do as a text box, or you can come into InDesign and draw boxes, either a frame or a rectangle, and then just drag and drop your images inside or type your text inside. I know that's a little quick. I know it's not super technical. And I also know I'm by no means an InDesign expert. But I'm hoping that does answer your questions and maybe help you move a little closer to being able to create your own vision board for your planner. It is nice, as someone pointed out, to be able to take it with me. And I don't really have a good spot to hang a vision board in my house. And at work, to be honest, I have a bunch of other inspirational things. I didn't really want to have a vision board at the office, especially since some of this is personal. It's something I have in my planner after the goals section, and it's something I can flip to pretty quickly. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate 
appreciate a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I am doing a combination of functional planning, how-to videos as things are requested. I'm definitely taking requests, so if I show anything that I say that I've created myself and you'd like to see how it was done, please definitely leave that in the comments below. I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you next time.